Saudi Arabia, Enrique Zimmerman. Uh, good to see you both. Thank you for, for joining us in the studio. So, Neil, first of all, take us back because um, you were invited, weren't you, to give a security lecture in uh, Saudi Arabia um, as, as an Israeli, um, not on another passport. And, and then you were invited to come back just last week with a business delegation. Talk us through how that happened. So first of all, about delegation, we know that uh, we have delegations since 2020-21, and uh, the first Israeli delegation with Israeli passports came to participate in Rally Dakar, Saudi Arabia. And since then, we had several things. First of all, we could find more the sports team participating in many, many types and uh, kind of sports. And this is something that's very unique, and hopefully it will open doors to others. But about the delegation, yes, this is the first time I think that uh, we have 12 Israelis. We, we came, of course, with non-Israeli passports, with foreign passports. But um, during the event, uh, as we can uh, see, and we saw the logos, everywhere, everybody knew that we are from Israel. Uh, it was on the table. They asked the questions. And the most important and unique, I think, conversation, conversation that I had, it was in a toilet with ladies who asked me, All the best conversations you? are in the ladies. And <laughs> yes, sure. It was quite amazing because they said, we, we've read about you and we saw you and you're a kind of model for us and we want to open wow. doors. And that was a welcome. Well, so I was going to ask you, you have a unique perspective. What, what is it like to go to Saudi Arabia as a woman, you know, and, and, and mm -hmm. speak freely and give lectures? You know, Saudi women do live under a lot of restrictions. So at the beginning, um, when we came to the receive, she, so, so someone there asked me if I'm the secretary of the delegation. And <laughs> when, she, when she heard that there is a lady, a woman, that they had a delegation with 12 males, <laughs> it was quite surprising. But moreover, the most important thing that we are coming together, we are coming as Israelis and they know that, they knew that we are coming from Tel Aviv. Uh, we didn't hide it, like they even asked it. And they openly talked and spoke with us, and it was amazing. Enric, you're a regular visitor to, to Saudi Arabia as well. You've been to the kingdom several times. Um, what are Saudi leaders telling you at the moment about the prospect of normalization compared to perhaps a few years ago? This was a test, really. There is a very heavy, heavy door that is opening. It's a crawling normalization, I would say, baby steps. And I think this delegation was part of it. it was the first time, really, you could feel history. And, uh, and Niri didn't say, but when she finished her, her speech, um, she was the only woman uh, in there participating. A group of women completely veiled, only with their eyes, they came up and they said in front of everyone, it's the most inspiring moment of this Congress. So it was amazing seeing that. And then they spoke with her in the toilet, by the way, because they couldn't do it in front of everyone. Now, we spoke with authorities there. Our feeling is that they had a kind of instructions coming from upstairs, from the leadership of, of the, the kingdom, asking them to test and to see what happens with an Israeli delegation. And by the way, it was a request by the government to publish everything that happens there, which is completely new. We, we participated in all kinds of events in the past, but never they asked us to, to publish it. I understand they are checking the temperature of the water and they want to see the reaction. You think they're testing their own population? Absolutely, and also the Middle East and the Muslim world. They want to see what is the reaction to the fact that Israelis representing different companies are present there in the heart of the kingdom in the city of Daman. And it's not just business. We've got a, a political delegation from Israel uh, in Saudi Arabia right now, um, a delegation from the foreign ministry attending the UNESCO meeting. Um, do you think that the two are linked or...? It's also also important because it's the first time but it's different because there they are invited by UNESCO not by the Saudi government the Saudi government gave the green light to bring them but here it was a specific invitation to Dr. Nirito Fir to bring Israelis so I think that's really historic and, and Nurit, um, a lot has been written about how the kingdom is evolving and changing and modernizing under the Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman. Have you seen that with your own eyes? And, and do you think that Israel plays a key role in that? So definitely, yes. Um, we all know that over two decades we have collaboration and business collaboration with the Saudis. 
also government, mostly government to government, but not only. We have, we have seen the private sector, and this is really unique. This is something that we couldn't find before in, for example, United Arab Emirates. So this is unique. Second, yes, definitely in the last four or five years, we can find so many pluralism, liberalization processes, and this is new. Um, the population really admire um, King uh, Mohammed bin Salman, and they see this as the next generation, the next future. You can find women engineers, something that you couldn't find before. Anyway, so we're, we're running out of time, but realistically, when do you think we'll see this normalization agreement? We know the Americans want it by the end of the year. It's a process. It's not going to happen in the end of the year, in my opinion, even if we don't know it. But there is something very relevant to, to remind. The three leaders, Biden, Netanyahu and Mohammed bin Salman, they want an agreement, each one for their own reasons. And I think that can happen, but it depends also on the Israeli reaction in, in the near future. Israel has also a very important role to play to, to bring together the Saudis and us. And by the way, they told me very clearly, the moment we have relations, that will open the gate to relations with many other Arab and Muslim countries.